The blue holes formed as long as 300,000 years ago, in the middle of the Ice Age, when ice caps expanded and sea levels dropped. Then, sea level was over 400 feet lower, and the Bahamas sat high and dry. Over time, Rain carved holes in the limestone base of the Bahama Islands, creating caves. When sea levels rose again, the caves filled up. Ocean water settled at the bottom. Fresh water accumulated at the top. Eventually, the deep layer became completely devoid of oxygen. And that's what makes blue holes time capsules. At about 40 feet, they pass through a blurry layer called the halocline. This is where fresh water above meets salt water below. As salt and fresh water meet, a chemical reaction occurs, corrosive enough to eat away at the cave wall. The halocline usually forms just below sea level. So over time, as sea levels rose, the halocline carved out the numerous side passages from the main cave. Under pressure, the gases in air, mostly oxygen and nitrogen, enter the diver's bloodstream faster. Our bodies metabolize oxygen, but not nitrogen. So as they descend, nitrogen bubbles build up in the diver's bloodstream. Go too deep, and that nitrogen buildup can cause narcosis. That's like being drunk underwater. The Bahamas lie beside the Atlantic Gulf Stream. For millions of years, this current has carried warm, salty waters north where they cool and sink. That drives ocean circulation, also called the Atlantic gyre, which shapes the climate. 